My Kickstarter edition of Endure the Stars just came. Uh, I was apparently in the last big group of people to get them. That's okay, I don't mind waiting for games. I uh, have too many to play already. My plan was when it got here to, you know, pull it out, uh, do a run through, do a review. But unfortunately for that, but more fortunately for me and my son, we're heading to Warhammer Fest this weekend, so a review will have to wait. But I thought I might do a quick unboxing just to see what's there, see what the components look like and, uh, you know, just make sure it's all actually in the box. Uh, the box came without a whole lot of damage. Um, I just got the base game and the Endure the Stars Kickstarter extra uh, stuff that comes in this white box here. Um, other than that, <clears throat> I did not get any add-ons or, uh, you know, any of the other uh, things you can pick up. So, uh, without further ado, let me switch this over to a tripod and we will take a look at what's in the box. I apologize up front, I have a little bit of a cold, uh, so that's why my voice sounds funnier than usual. So let me get into, pull off the and I set this on a tripod so I wouldn't be quite as shaky as usual. Whoa, it is a thick box. Uh, it actually doesn't quite close all the way. Uh, hopefully the autofocus is working on that. So box art cover looks a lot like what you, what you saw. Rule book. Now, what I've heard about the rule book is that there's a four or five page fact that you really need to read. I will take a look at that later. Um, looks very similar to what they had in the um, online uh, version. Uh, I thought the rule book was fairly clear, but uh, apparently there, the final version must have some issues with it. I haven't really looked. Uh, so the tiles for the rooms double-sided art's pretty good uh, fairly normal thickness um, not too shiny a lot bigger than I kind of pictured them being actually looks like they might be a one by one tiles um, and there are one two three Twelve. Um, so twelve of them. <clears throat> then you have uh, just uh, uh, for your cards. Uh, punch out for your tokens. Fairly standard. A lot of red tokens. Um, I have not read the rules yet, so I don't know what all these are yet. Clearly, these are the player boards. You have the psychic, scout, the captain. Titan, who's a bad guy, a marine, engineer, and a medic. <clears throat> Two packs of cards here. I'll open up one, maybe. Um, actually, they're yeah, they're pretty standard. They have a uh, a little bit of a texture on them. It gives them kind of a digital look. They're a little shinier than I would like. Maybe not quite as thick as other cards, but completely fine. Uh, no complaints about that. Artwork is very consistent with <coughs> everything else that I've seen. Um, and then, let's see what's in here. These must be the miniatures. Comes with some dice, uh, miniature bases, and I'll have to count all these later. But so heroes, and I'm going to switch the camera around so I can take a better look uh, at these. Okay, so I'm back with the miniatures now. So I wanted to be able to bring them in a little bit closer. So, these are scaled, they're a little bit lighter than, say, a Warhammer type figure. Um, 
I'm not sure what the scale is exactly, uh, but the detail is okay. Um, oh. I apologize for that. I'm trying to think how these compare to uh, some of the other board games I have. Uh, pretty similar to, say, uh, uh, Galaxy Defenders. Um, and maybe uh, in, a, in a minute I'll pull out a Galaxy Defenders figures and we can look at the comparison. Um, uh, this is the Psychic. A little bit of flash to clean off, but not bad. Um, so those are your main characters. Oh, wait, here's a sixth one. I thought it came with seven. Um, so now the bad guys. The kits. Um, so here, these are plastic. They're actually kind of, they're okay. Uh, those might actually even be a little bit fun to paint. I think that's all this kind. Let's see what other options we have in here. Um, not sure what, I forget what this one's called. It's uh, one, the, you know, it's the, the alien's power suit uh, with Ripley, you know, get away from her. Um, here's one of the other Gep enemies. Yeah, I'm not so... The heroes aren't the greatest in the world, but I really like the, the enemy sculpt so far. Here's the, the Titan. This is your final big bad guy. Um, looks like the rest are the same here. I'll just pull out an example of each of these, and then I might pull out some comparisons. Here's one of your other. This is just your standard little monster. Interesting scene there, but... And then the last... And this is the base game. A bunch of these. So this is everything you get in the base game, which uh, I don't know what it retails for on Kickstarter. I think it was 54 British pounds. Um, so let me get a couple of comparison models, and uh, I'll be right back. So I wanted to pull out a couple of quick comparisons. So here is a uh, Galaxy Defenders model uh, versus... Uh, this one here, so a little bit beefier. I apologize, these are already painted. But, uh, so that's sort of your scale there. So I pulled out a couple of others. Um, here is uh, from uh, uh, Perdition's Mouth, a comparison. Um, I think the Perdition's Mouth probably mm, better better quality. A little more detail, and then uh, uh, what else did I pull out? Oh, and here's I don't have uh, I didn't pull out one of the heroes, but this is from Alien Uprising, um, so we can comparison here with oh say here's one of their bad guys. Like I said, I think the the aliens are pretty decent. Uh, the heroes leave something to be desired. Uh, and here's a you know, and then here's Galaxy Defenders aliens. Uh, so, uh, I think overall I would say good job on the all the aliens, um, but just not a lot of detail on the heroes, so, um, compared to some other games. Alright, so now let's check out what's inside the Endure the Stars Kickstarter uh, exclusive, not exclusives, but extras. I do like that they kind of separated this out from the base game. A lot of folks will stick it in with the main box and you don't know what's a normal retail versus your extras. But uh, So here's the box of extras. I have not checked to see what's supposed to be in here, so uh, this will be exploratory for me as well. So some additional attack cards, um, a preacher, 
Uh, okay, sort of, a, I guess he's a yellowish gray knight. Um, geneticist, and I'm sorry about the reflection. Uh, some more tokens, so, and I guess an additional titan. And more tokens. And then, so my guess is from a model there'll be a titan, and there'll be a geneticist, and there'll be a preacher, and whatever. I guess these must be like zombies or something. Um, so, we have right here the geneticist. Um, kind of chainsaw wielding well no I guess that's it's a power sword a female with a power sword some zombie or other bystanders um, ten looks like ten of each uh, Yes, there is another um, let's see what do we have here? Sure, I guess though there's the preacher. He's not in that same colored resin. Um, then another Titan and then some of some additional bad guys. Looks like a flying one. I'll get all the names here at some point. Uh, Lizard Man from Doctor Who. A couple more chainsaw folks. And that's it. Uh, so that, those are your Kickstarter extras. And oh, one more, a little yellow base to go with all the other bases. So that is everything from Endure the Stars. Uh, hey, thanks for joining in. Uh, as soon as I get a chance, I'll give it a read, do a playthrough, and uh, tell you what I think of the actual gameplay. Uh, until next time, uh, thanks and happy gaming.